Hello, all you merry fellows. Welcome to Laurel and Artistry. Today we're drawing Tom Bombadil and his lovely wife, Goldberry. I'm going to start by drawing Goldberry, who will be sitting on a tree by the waters of the Withy Windle. I'll put her in a simple draping dress and give her flowing hair. I'll be honest, I don't have a whole lot to say about Tom and Goldberry. They're fun and whimsical characters, but there isn't a lot that's concrete to discuss, so most of what there is to talk about is theories. I suppose that what we do know is that Goldberry is referred to as River Woman's daughter, so she seems to be some sort of water being, perhaps one of the Maiar. But of course, that's starting to wade into theories. If we are going to speculate, though, Tom Bombadil has all manner of wild hypotheses surrounding him. Is he Santa? Are he and Goldberry Adam and Eve? Is he Eru? Is he the embodiment of nature itself? Or an embodiment of the old forest? Is he Tolkien? Is he a blue wizard? Is he you, the reader? Is he Bill the Pony? Is he Morgoth? Is he an allegory for World War II? Is he the eagle that didn't fly the ring to Mordor? Is he Aslan? Is he the doctor? Is he Thanos? Okay, I might have made some of those up. Personally, and I know this seems far-fetched, but I think that Tom Bombadil is Tom Bombadil. Well, anyways, we've got it all sketched out. Time to go over everything with some clean lines. I hope to one day master drawing fabric. It's very fun to draw, but the way things drape and fold can be tricky to get just right. Bombadil with his coat. And boots. And hat. We seem to get a more detailed description of what he looks like than most characters in the story, which is interesting considering the mystery surrounding him. We've got Goldberry's golden hair. I can't quite recall if the color of her dress is ever mentioned, but I made it green to sort of evoke lily pads. Of course, his coat is blue, and his boots are yellow. Time to work on shading. I love to watch the drawing slowly change from flat to having more and more depth. I add some lines to the hair to give it some texture. And shade that until it's a nice shiny gold. Add a bit more detail to the face. Some darker lines, some more shadows, some highlights. And I give her freckles, just for fun. And now to shade Tom Bombadillo. Give him some cheery red cheeks. Build up those layers of depth on the rest of his outfit. I know a lot of people wish Tom Bombadil was in Peter Jackson's films, but I see why he's not. I also think those extra bits that aren't in the movies provide fun little treats when reading through the book. Besides, it only contributes to his mystery to keep him out of the films. On to his beard. I opted for something a bit shorter than many depictions of him, but I think it still counts as a long beard. Adding more detail to his face, 
which I hope I made adequately jolly. Give his coat some buttons. Add some on his boots as well. And on the cuff of his coat. Given her association with water, I decided to add some pearls to Goldberry's dress. She's got a water lily in her hand, which she picked up out of the water. I add some more pearls onto her sleeves. Put some trim on Tom's boots. And now to start on a tree for her to sit on. Outline them in black. Draw the grass at the water's edge, and draw the water. Draw some lily pads. Shade in the water. a little drop of water falling from her hand. I try to make the water look more transparent by extending the edge below the surface a bit. Shade the tree. Have the background sort of fade from green to blue. Add a border and some circles. Make the water slightly shinier. Fill in the circle. We'll add some feather designs to the outer circle, a reference to Tom's hat. And add a lily to the center, though not much of that is visible. Now I make a vine grow around the tree, because vines make me happy. Add some swirling Art Nouveau designs above the circle. Adjust the colors. And there we go. Thank you so much for watching. What's your favorite theory about Tom Bombadil? Well, I hope you'll join me again. Until then, remember not to get eaten by an old angry tree. Ciao!